Welcome everybody, this is your strategy wolf and welcome back to Strategic Command American Civil War. Welcome back to our conquest of Mexico versus Old Crow Balthazar. We're getting into the eighth, uh, 28th turn uh, and it should be the end of 1847. Um, yeah, in the north, um, we're pushing towards Chihuahua. Might, uh, I was optimistic to make, might be taking it this turn. Um, General um, Zachary Taylor has been pushing Arista for, uh, further back at Saltillo, but yeah, we're slowly just pursuing them because there might be the idea of bringing our troops, the essential ones, somewhere else. Uh, in the south, uh, we are taking, uh, we have been pausing and refreshing our troops, and now we're going to decide on what to do next. All right, guys. Um, yeah, let's go watch the replay together. We have a lot to see and talk about. Um, let's not waste any time. Okay, the enemy actually retreats fully from Chihuahua. Interesting here. Also full retreat. Wow. I mean, defending Chihuahua would have been probably not the smartest, to be honest. I mean, or I don't know, not very promising at least, but... Retreating, I don't know where, where else the units can be really used, but we probably can get in uh, another time I'm gonna read to you the conquest of Mexico by Prescott page 289 Cortes meanwhile had so little doubt of his ability to overawe the insurgents that he wrote to the effect to the garrison of Villarica by the same dispatches in which he informed them of his safe arrival in the capital but scarcely had his messenger been gone half an hour when he returned breathless with terror and covered with wounds the city, he said, was all in arms. The drawbridges were raised and the enemy would soon be upon them. He spoke truth. It was not long before a hoarse, sullen sound became audible, like that of the roaring of distant waters. It grew louder and louder, till from the parapets surrounding the enclosure, the great avenues which led to the might be seen dark with the masses of warriors, who came rolling on in a confused tide towards the fortress. At the same time, the terraces and azoteas of flat roofs in the neighborhood were thonged with combatants, brandishing their missiles who seemed to have risen up as if it by magic. It was a spectacle to appall the stoutest. But the dark storm to which it was the prelude, and which gathered deeper and deeper around the Spaniards during the remainder of their residence in the capital, must form the subject of a separate book. I doubt it's going to be a separate book, but alright. So, yeah, the enemy retreated both here and here. Maybe so it was maybe a good idea to actually withdraw the artillery already. Since, yeah, we're talking about the neck, we were talking about the main next steps, which are, of course, Mexico City, uh, both Mexico City and Veracruz. I don't know if the enemy is really like re expecting a landing down here still. I know he did in the beginning, since, yeah, we are, we are allowed to watch the other's videos when they come out. We are like 20 or 15 to 20 turns ahead of the release dates. So I just saw that in 46, in the beginning, he summed up here some army, but I guess most of them were pushed, uh, sent up to Tampico again to fight us here. The question is how many people, uh, and that he disbanded basically the garrison here and um, displaced it with a yeah unit and i'm really not sure i have no idea how strong the marines are going to be if this is going to be enough firepower okay we can get at least up to four units in long range amphibious assault okay i mean if we have two units the, the brigade and uh and here it's even fortified to four is this despite the i'm not sure if this is still the correct info so if we can come in with um, two units, I don't know if we have the power to fight, to uh, really defend a unit in here. So the question is if we should rather bring back our cavalry down here. At least I feel like we have to flank any preparation to a landing with a massive attack down here on Mexico, either this way or the other way. In the end, the, the target has to be distracted and force him to withdraw as many people as possible. I mean, we can also land here in Anton Lizardo, probably getting some supply, but then we have the disadvantage to cross the river. Problem is probably until you're gonna write me in the comments, I will have already performed anything like that. So these are the thoughts that are in my head right now. Um, yeah, but before we get there, let's maybe start in the very north where yeah the enemy withdrew. So what's the next step after? I think the enemy withdrew in this direction, right? So I think I will use the path to. Yep, pursue them. 
and probably i'm just gonna block off this route to be honest before i fight them out here in the mountains let's just ignore this brigade i mean they shouldn't retag chihuahua of course down here let's I, i'm gonna risk moving i mean we can't really take santa rosalia anyways which way i mean the idea is that the enemy retreated we might want to get in his back so i, I think we need to rush a little bit so let's push that can we And yeah, I think then Kerry can also go directly to. Maybe we're just gonna leave those guys here. Yeah. And push as fast as. Uh, maybe. Um, even attempt to bring them back to Chihuahua. Maybe here. Maybe they will run into an ambush of the Apache and they think we, we crossed too far south. I'm not sure. We're gonna leave them behind to control uh, the enemy brigade over here. All right, so much about that front. I'm coming to the... Yeah, I, I, depending where the enemy went to, I guess. Like, most of them retreated this way, since here we're controlling Catorce, and thereby blocking off their kind of a retreat path. It's now it really pays off. The question is if some units went this way and might want to fight their way through. So... Um, Let's see, we learned that our... Uh, I learned just recently the Rangers function, that they also have some scouting. Again, I, I wouldn't be surprised if the enemy is in Pada, so let's find out. Okay, he's not. Okay, he was behind that. Uh, oh, gosh. Oh, this were hard losses. Um, maybe not so smartly done. Well, let's see... Oh, I'm fearing a little bit for our poor rangers now after this ambush. Well done by the enemy, sure. However, in the end, it's also nice to see that basically this 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 regulars they are stuck here somewhere, like absolutely out of the out of place. While we are about to, and I don't wonder which is the better way, probably to bring them here, grouping up. Yeah, the artillery is so slow. Maybe I'll bring them rather here bringing out our essential forces. Question is over here, what are we gonna do? Um. Okay, then we just want, I wanna see where the enemies are. At least he's not going to supply the uh, destroy the rangers at full supply. That's uh, at low supply. So I think these guys try to, uh, yeah, pursue them, let not not give them too much rest, hit them where they can. Um, with these guys, I'm gonna push down here. Oh, here's an fortification. I didn't even see that coming. And maybe the enemy sent the engineers here to fortify, but I was never planning to get up this way. Uh, yeah, I was actually scared that the, one of the, the engineers would be around here and really fortifying in the meantime Mexico City pretty hard. Can we see something around here actually? Not really. So maybe just the distances make it hard. In this case... It's maximum one or two units down here. So let's... Uh, we, yeah, I know already that... <laughs> Okay, San Luis Potosí is still occupied. We wanted to take here this town. Santa Maria de Rio. And then maybe if they come, won't come down here, we're going to take this here also and threaten at least this area here. Oh, God. I mean, he's occupying it, so this is, has some meaning. I really doubt that the enemy has too many free units that uh, he can really dispose to get in our back to encircle us over here. I would be highly surprised, especially here in this area. Um, where supply is really bad. Let's get back to uh, supply 5 at least over here. No. 
minute three. Yeah, they will not take us out here. I know the last time here in Binado there was also this brigade, but I think the time has come to just like try to push and blockade any every, any possible enemy unit wherever we can. Yeah, but maybe okay, guys. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I don't want to be encircled in case the enemy sees that. So I'm gonna push up here. Um, just push the line a little bit, then get in their back and check what's going on over here. It's once we have control, we can use them to push as well. Okay. Um, oh, I didn't close the window. I hope you guys don't hear the baby crying. <laughs> Out there, not mine, any. Um, okay. Now the time has come for us to check the situation over here. They have spotting range three, so I want them to get here that we can see if the enemy is still around. Yeah, or even here. Oh. Ran into the next ambush. It is what it is. So the enemy is still quite ve very, very present around here. That's interesting to know. Let's bring our troops into position and see what we can do, basically. I mean, they're both under control. Actually, I will attack here and try to say, take it straight away. Of course, it's better to attack with preparation and out of the run. Mm, yeah. Of course, we ran out of Maybe not super smartly done by me. At least they are super damaged the regulars, which is great. Um, where who, who do we want? Where do we, should I? I think I'm gonna take these guys up to Taman Tamantrale whilst or these these war these guys, yeah that's better. If the enemy is not around over here, I'll try to go towards Kalpa next turn. I just want my regulars here around here. Um I bring in both the artilleries here to for a maximum efficiency next turn. He can still control them and these guys um, on the street, I'd say, right? In the street, yeah. I mean, we are numerically superior. We have the artillery, so actually now we mod them down already to four. Whew, this is a tough position for the... I think the enemy will be shocked a little by this. I was surprised how efficiently we attacked. Unfortunately, we couldn't uh, enforce it further. Hmm. That's okay for me, actually. So, looking good, looking good, looking good. We don't have any new units right now. And we moved all our units, so we have 360 MPP actually available. And as I mentioned before, I would love to get another Cav Brigade in. Yes, so we can support any push with more reconnaissance it's just uh, annoying to not have it when are we going to get our marines probably next turn yeah the so next turn we can i see no reason why i would load those guys already it costs 40 okay I mean, we could even order one extra. We have so many MPPs. We could even get an extra brigade out, regiment out that we send to. With, so we have an extra attacking unit down here. Maybe not so stupid. Then we would I, first of all, if there's we have for lucky attack or something. Uh, if the enemy really has strong units in here, we could just r uh, run an extra attack on them. Also, just to take to get in and secure any of these areas um, or like defensively and so forth. Actually, I like the idea since there's not so much we refresh those guys. Um, of course, we do have to refresh or give some reinforcements out up here. Yeah, probably 150, uh, roughly 150 MPPs. Another 50. Yeah, but we can delay some of these things. Um, 
I mean, Regiment is not really a strong unit, but I'm gonna go for it. Okay, guys, let's go. Um, I'm gonna get one Cath Brigade, done in two turns. And one Regiment, done in next turn. So... These boys should be... Ah, okay, we can start the, the landing ships only in two turns. Okay, now I don't have the MPP anymore. I was just wondering if it may might be smart to already send them ahead so they can scout and then we come in with the next landing wave. But yeah, we don't have MPP anyway, anyways anymore, but you can still start them next turn. They can remain here. And I think that's it for this turn. So um, yeah, let me know what you think. Tough decisions to come in. And yeah, of course, we're gonna bring two turns there at the harbor. One or two turns there, they are at the harbor. So, harbor. so yeah, I'm also gonna um, have one more regular and one more artillery for the army down here or to support here. And we do have now a little bit of an advantage. I mean, the enemy knows the main targets. That's, that's very clear. So. That's, that's actually a disadvantage for us, but from this kind of positioning in a huge countryside, I feel like there's little possibilities for the enemy, so for us, but ours are actually better via the sea, to really shift these units while those guys are going somewhere. Yeah. Yeah. Let me know what you think. Um, of course, if you haven't yet, it would be fantastic if leave both me and Balthazar a um, like and subscription under the channel. Uh, link to the Balthazar's video description, the first video, of course, as always, in the video description. And let's quickly end the turn together and see if anything's income. Yeah, the Fighting Spirit falls, which is also going to help us down here because now the Fighting Spirit also correlates with the morale, so nice. And yeah, my morale is still up. I hope yours too. So most importantly, see you then next time with the next episode. Bye, your strategy wolf.